of the good ones, uh, mm. or sometimes you can't own any of the good ones, right, Jim? But I'm not adding at this point. Very uh, cool. Globin checking have. this phone, telling what it's filmed. Valued, so it's less attractively valued at this point. What um, about the report in your view? I thought it's good. I mean, look, my concern was what's mm. happening with the uh, I got so some good news from Google with cloud. Got some decent news from it's Microsoft buffet. on cloud. So that's yeah, WH Smith. My favorite brother's favorite away, store. The bar was with his uh, low, no personality politics be that much his and techniques of those who deal size. with below him so deal with really parking wardens. You know, when you look at some of these names, you know, it's such a binary WH Smith. We go around the the market the sort of surprising. But even the retail business was a bright spot for Amazon, which was a surprise. Operational efficiency, they did see the consumer start to trade down, but overall, that means this is really good news here. Yeah, it's a special lighter. The operating market came in three times better than what's expected. So really strong results. And I think that's what many investors and Amazon have been waiting for for a long time. And here we are. We always knew there was a potential overall given the investments they've been making over the last many years. And it was really nice to see some of that flowing through this time around. So Steve made a point to say that you do not own this. <laughs> the winner on the day, Jim Lamenthal. I told you it was going to be good today. Um, but, I mean, at this point, does this look even better? Does the Amazon story look even better today than it did yesterday? Well, by definition of having beaten, yes, it does. Um, that said, you know, when you look at something like Amazon Web Services, the highest margin uh, part of their business, and you look at that growth rate, yeah, it's 12%. That's great. Um, you know, this isn't the growth rate that we were seeing three, four years ago. Um, this is a, a company that has a large valuation to it, so I'm not inclined to chase this right here. I'm happy for my friend Steve uh, that he's finally investing in the market. It's been in a long oh, time gosh. coming. I told you I'd be good today. I'm trying. I really am. Um, mm. But look, I, I also, uh, Mel, I have to say that, and I've been saying this for a couple of weeks, that this is a market that's kind of getting ahead of itself. These are the uh, almost the dog days of summer. Uh, light liquidity, you can get an outsized response to something like this. Um, I'm happy that I've raised a little cash over the next two weeks, uh, but I would not use it to chase something like Amazon on a day like today. Right. You mentioned this big stock pop. I mean, a surprise, but especially given that rates are still fairly high. We've retreated on the 10-year yield, Shannon, but we're still above 4%, firmly above 4% at this point. And a high multiple stock like Amazon no. still has the legs to go double-digit percent higher in one single session. Seriously? It's amazing, Melissa. I mean, if you...